All right, look, here in the final segment, I got a ton of news I got to go over, and I'll jam in a few calls if I have time to. In a managed economy, big global corporations just love it. They want to shut down smaller corporations and companies. They don't like a Bill of Rights and Constitution. They want to set up a new world government with new rules where they don't have to follow the rules and you have more rules on you. A couple months ago, uh, we talked about how the head of cybersecurity quit saying the Pentagon's going to take over all the hubs for the Internet so they can shut it down and censor it. Now that's the headline of the New York Times. Privacy may be victim in cyberspace plan. Obama vows to protect civil liberties may be difficult to put into practice. This is the guy that said he would stop secretly torturing and no rights for detainees. He's actually expanded it. The guy that said he wouldn't hire any lobbyists and only did was hire lobbyists. The guy that said he wouldn't be secret about the bailout money or the stimulus package. Total secrecy. Everything with this guy is a lie. And AP is also reporting buyers face hike in mortgage rates as inflation fears mount. The $14.8 trillion that would have more than paid off every mortgage in the United States, that was $9.3 trillion. None of this was about getting things restarted. It was about hoarding the money and plotting the economy further to buy it all up. That's right. You've put in more tax money than the GDP in a year and more than all the mortgages. Everybody in America has already paid in taxes or is going to be paying in taxes enough to have $5 trillion left. <laughs> And uh, the news is reporting that of the Chrysler and GM, over uh, 2,000 letters have gone out, 1,500 to GM dealerships, Chevy and GM, saying, we're shutting you down. Give us your customer list. Give us everything. We're getting rid of you. And they make them waive their rights and give up huge dealerships still worth a ton of money. And then they're given to multinational corporations, the Chinese, the Russians, the Brazilians, and the Europeans, with bailout money, the $30 billion. They're paying to give it to globalists. That's what this is, Chicago mob politics. But it's international in scope, handing it over, and then the Democratic power of the Democratic Party. Republicans used to do stuff like this, but now it's, it's getting even more widespread with the Democrats. Uh, Representative uh, Michelle uh, Bachman of Minnesota is right when she talks about this, but it, it, it's bipartisan. But right now, Obama's taking it to a new level. And they're also announcing they're going to cap all sorts of business salaries and corporate business owners. This is the elite. The ultra-rich are going to take everything the middle class have, and they're going to sick the poor, dumbed-down working class on the middle class. But the middle class are conditioned to be surly, smiley-faced, know-it-all, arrogant, haughty, foolish yuppies, so they won't defend themselves because they listen to fake right-wingers on the radio and fake liberals and walk around their Birkenstocks calling for global carbon taxes that will only be on the U.S. and Europe and further shut down our industry. But, again, it's what you want, so it's what you get. Here's Representative Michelle uh, Bachman on the House floor. The whole thing's up at InfoWars.com under Obama is running a gangster government and a bunch of other video clips I won't have time to get to, but here it is. That they could stay open. That senator was able to arrange a meeting between the dealer and the officials at GM. We all know GM is now government motors because it's owned by the American people. It's been nationalized. There's no private corporation the way we used to think of GM. Now the main stockholder is the American government. So this Democrat senator who was applied to for help was able to secure a meeting with General Motors and the car dealership and they were able to get their dealership back. Well, that's great. That's wonderful. There's also another article I saw today where uh, a constituent had contacted one of the representatives, a Democrat representative, here in this chamber, represent Bernie Frank. Bernie Frank was able to go and talk to the right people and get this dealership back open. Is that what we have come to in this country? That rather than a private business with a private contract with another private corporation, Corporation. They're no longer able to work out their agreements because, as columnist Michael Barone has called, he said, now we've moved into the realm of gangster government. We have gangster government. And by the, the way, we do. Now, now, let me stop right there. I'm not trying to make the police look bad. They're so bad on average, it's indescribable. They're so bad, I don't have words. Now, let me explain something. All over the United States, as I scan news wires, I have seen thousands of news articles where the police 
pull old ladies over, because that's usually what makes the news, and they have two or $3,000 in their wallet. They snatch it. They take their Rolex. They may even steal their Cadillac. Because the police go on the news and defend it and say she shouldn't have that much money. No judge, no jury, no arrest. And then the judges even get the money. Now, Texas is getting famous because right out here in the Hill Country, a bunch of towns south of us, East Texas especially, the cops pull you over and they take the money out of your wallet. And if you don't like it, they'll blow your head off on the spot and say you attacked them. And they don't even, I mean, these cops live in $2 million houses, huge swimming pools. They drive brand new Corvettes, whatever they've seized. And let me tell you, I, I grew up in a upper middle class neighborhood with, and, and down the street was an FBI agent and Next door to one of my friends was an FBI agent living in million-dollar houses back then in the 80s. And, you know, houses that were probably 500000 then. And Corvettes and money and, and, and hot young mistresses. And, folks, they didn't get that on their eighty grand a year at the FBI. Let me just give you a little newsflash there. They did it dealing narcotics. Now, that's why the drug war isn't going to end. That's why we got more people in prison than any other country in the world. Now, that said, admitted CIA operative Anderson Cooper is doing news reports with the headline, American cops steal money from drivers and take trips to Hawaii. And they got the DAs, they got the the judges admitting they keep the money they take. I mean, it, it, they take it. That's why you got these little county judges living in million-dollar houses. And, and, folks, by the way, if you live next door to one, I see reports where they decide they want your house. They send a SWAT team over to kill your debtor in a hammer. I mean, you got to watch these towns. That's why real estate is so much lower in Williamson County, even though it's beautiful and nice up there for ranchettes and things. People that got brains don't want to live there. They'll come after it and take it from you. They don't play games, folks. Now, this is even a whitewash. It's ten times worse because this show starts out with how they're taking, you know, five-day, six-day, four-day trips to Hawaii and doing, you know, a couple hours of training while they're there is the excuse. But then later they admit, oh, the judge even gets cash. The issue is the globalist, and Anderson Cooper, by the way, admits he's CIA. He was CIA trained. He's the heir to the Astro Fortune. He's an admitted CIA operative. But they'll report this so the feds can come in and further take over the states. The feds are even more corrupt, is my point. And I get on air and mention the Dallas police, how they pull you over and throw bags of chalk in the back of your car, thousands of people, and take their cars. That's been on NPR, Dallas Morning News. I mean, I'm not making up. Houston does that. I got to say... Austin is one of the best forces in the country. Austin police aren't involved in a lot of narcotics trafficking. They are involved in running hookers, and they've been busted a lot doing that, and some of the gambling here in town, mainly high-end hookers uh, and some of the low-end hookers. But Austin is one of the – that's why people live here, because our police are not just complete raving criminals. Now, now, now that said, they've now released the full dash cam of the cop beating up the ambulance EMTs. They were going to charge him. They said their squad car showed the EMT attacking him. Turns out it's a lie, just as the witnesses said. Cop attacks them. Then they start choking him. That video is up on Infowars.com. And the issue is the state police lied about this. And now the dash cam video is out. Now, they're not totally corrupt, I guess, in, in, in Oklahoma, or they wouldn't even have released it. Now, Austin does claim videos malfunction when they kill people. So they still cover up when they kill people in Austin, but they're not as bad as some. Let's go ahead, just because you won't believe this report. It's a six-minute report. It's up on Infowars.com. I want to play just a minute of it, because people will say Anderson Cooper and CNN doesn't exist when I bring this up. But here it is. Next report takes us back to the heart of Texas, where Gary Tuckman has found another county awash in both cash and allegations of corruption. The money, more than a million dollars last year, was seized from drivers who were pulled over by cops. And there are allegations that some of those drivers were innocent. So what's happening to all that money? Well, that's where so many people, that's why so many people are steamed. Gary Tuckman tonight is keeping them on. Okay, that's enough. I don't have time to play it all. I'll play it on the show tomorrow, uh, more of it, and analyze it. And then they admit, oh, the judge just keeps every week $4,000 checks for himself. Personally, that even goes around the state law that allows total robbery. But the current state law says, you know, the, that the, oh, it doesn't even matter. The point is, ladies and gentlemen, is that it's out of control. Most counties in Texas are run by Boss Hogg. Okay? And they're worse than Enos. They're worse than, uh, uh, what's the name of the head cop for Boss Hogg? Roscoe Pico Train and Flash. It isn't cute. 
It isn't cute when a cop pulls you over in East Texas and walks up with huge Nazi swastikas, this has happened to me, on their arms. And I manipulatively just went ahead and played the guy. And he said, Heil Hitler, right back and left. And I would drove out of there. I don't like Hitler, but I played a Hitler card and got out of it. You're not going to give a fellow white supremacist a ticket, are you? Oh, he did a little Heil Hitler with me. And I was like, oh, Heil Hitler. <laughs> We're out of time, ladies and gentlemen. The transmission continues at Infowars.com. <laughs>